The story of Lil Donald Trump and the very big list of failed businesses. In 1989, Trump borrowed $250 million to buy an airline. Trump's planes were so badly taken care of, they suffered a minor crash. Lil Donnie, of course, blamed the previous owners. It went out of business in just two years. Lil Donnie tried to open a bottled water company. He lied and told people it was the purest water from a secret spring. It was tap water from Pennsylvania. The company collapsed in 2010. Trump, the board game. Donald tried to sell his board game with Milton Bradley, who sold so few copies, they pulled it from the shelves in 1989. Later, Trump tried to re-release it during The Apprentice and sold even fewer. Trump Mortgage LLC ceased operations in 2007. GotTrump.com, a travel site, ceased operations in 2007. Trump Steaks, a brand of steak and other meats, discontinued sales two months after its launch. TrumpNet, a telephone communication company, ran out of money before it even launched. Trump Tower Tampa turned out to be a scam, but Trump walked away with millions. Trump University was an utter criminal disaster that scammed thousands out of their money. Trump Vodka failed due to a lack of sales. Trump Fragrances was pulled from shelves for extraordinarily low sales. Who the fuck wants to smell like a full two-day-old diaper anyway? Trump Mattresses shut down for low sales. Lil Donnie's casinos were utter disasters. The Trump Castle and Marina bankrupt and sold. Trump Plaza Hotel bankrupt, closed and demolished. The Trump World's Fair bankrupt and demolished. Trump 29 in Coachella? He was kicked out of that one for incompetence. It's also worth noting that at this time, Trump was removed from control of the company. He agreed to step down quietly, but that damage was done. Yet during his time as chairman, he took the stock of the company from $35 a share down to 17 cents. Because little Donnie Trump's only claim to fame, that he's a good business boy, is also one of his biggest lies. On Kamala becoming the presidential nominee, I'm going to confess, I, I wasn't too happy about that, but I'm all in now, I'm 100% I'm, I'm, I'm now for this reason. This, this representative from, from Tennessee, sorry Connie, from Tennessee. He called her a DEI candidate. And then they start calling her colored. Then they start calling her out of her name. And as a black man, I can't let no white man talk about no sister like that. And, and I not take offense to it. Because who is more disqualified than Donald Trump? And Republicans are all in because he is the avatar for their grievance. How qualified does a black person have to be? Graduated at the top of her class at Howard, went to law school, was attorney general of a state, a United States senator, a vice president of the United States, but she's not qualified? I'm all in. Because I'm not going to let any white man tell me how I ought to feel about a black person. Stony the road we've tried. 